Hello you guys and pals and welcome back for more oxygen not included. Last time we figured out uh, what uh, we use this contraption for. Um, turned out to be uh, not very interesting. Uh, we already knew things that we figured out. Uh, later on today we will try to figure out what this big brain is. But we also noticed we have a problem with our food uh, because our farm is a bit uh, too hot. And that's probably the first thing that we have to deal with uh, today. And the quickest remedy that I can think of is if we have... Air cooling station. It's not in here. Thermo regulator. So we'll take this. We'll take this in and this out. And then we need a bit of uh, power there. Um, and uh, that will heat the, the area here up, but that should at least cool down the air we are pumping in here and be uh, kind of like a, a stopgap measure um, uh, for, for, uh, for that part. Now, let's give that uh, a bit uh, a higher priority. Um, uh, once that is built, we have to uh, break and reconnect here. But this is only an uh, intermediary solution. Um, because um, while this cools things down, at least it cools the, the, the air down. Um, it cools this area up, which uh, basically is also part of the base, and um, all kind of, uh, of things happen there. So we get uh, almost 50 degree in, we go with 30 out, then in here we have some more uh, cooling. Um, Hopefully that does help help somewhat, but then we have to consider uh, a proper cooling system and we will build that here on this side with a liquid tank for the cooling liquid uh, and then some thermoregulators to cool that down or keep that liquid uh, cool uh, and we use the liquid uh, to go through various spaces where we need cooling and then we have some uh, some uh, steam turbine to cool the the whole set up down again and get a bit of, of power out of it. Usually I use polluted water for the cooling liquid but I think today we will do that with with crude oil because crude oil, uh, if we look at the properties, um, we can have that at an evaporation point of nearly 400 degrees and we can cool it down to um, some minus degrees. So it has a wider range than polluted water, which is not a bad thing. Uh, so here we do have a volcano. Uh, I'm thinking um, we shall have our container here. Um, we need to dig that out. 
Then here on top we will have the, the cooling system and on top of that we will have the steam turbines to, to cool that part off. Um, of course in here um, we need to have access so let's make a level there and basically have that going all the way to here and maybe access here on top. Uh, we also need to dig all this out so that that will take a while and uh, I think we caught to the point where everything is built out uh, here and uh, we can then actually turn our attention to the real topic of today's episode. Well, we have to make sure that our duplicates do not starve to death. The cooling setup is complete and hopefully this time around I have uh, done the piping and the ordering all in the correct way. Um, we pump out the uh, um, crude oil here uh, into our cooling system going through here and then back in and currently we are still at uh, above 50 degrees so it needs to cool down we take it out here when it comes back it's cooler uh, and we have basically uh, levels here um, that's 8 degree then minus 6 and then minus 20 and that should cool the oil down to uh, roughly uh, minus 30, 34 degrees which is still a bit above freezing point uh, but it will take quite a while uh, until we get this this whole basin here uh, cooled down so we will let that run on the side while we will focus on this one uh, food shortage trials, uh, we managed to uh, sort that out, uh, uh, but had to uh, sacrifice a few planting spots for uh, wheeze warts, uh, so we are able to cool this farm uh, sufficiently. Also have one in here, unfortunately that happened quite late, so uh, we lost all uh, our Dracos due to hunger but now let's see what what we have here um, pajamas can be dispensed this one i've discovered a new dream analyzing building buried deep inside our asteroid it seems to contain new sleep specific suits could this be the key to unlocking my duplicates ability to dream i've often wondered what they might be capable of once their imaginations are awakened Yeah, that's what we just saw. Um, so what do we have here? Um, I think we have uh, an intake pipe. Um, uh, intake pipe for what cortex? Oxygen. Okay. So we need a bit of oxygen. 
oxygen pipe, 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 pipe here. Um, Let's do it that way, then go down and over. Here and there. And once that pipe is done, we probably need to uh, to activate this this building. But we will see in just a short time. High pitch is all done, so now it's time to figure out what this machine does. And let's see. Oh, yeah, Lindsay, current event. Now what? Maybe we need someone uh, slipping on pajamas. Um, why not you? Duplicant uh, with the with the camp does uh, improve their morale. So that's a nice and easy trick. Duplicants that are a bit low. If you have one duplicate, if you have one hundred of them, you basically have to. to that can raise their morale a bit um, or more precisely uh, lower lower the stress because they, they feel appreciated um, if you take an interest in uh, whatever we are doing so we will follow I say around a bit until she goes to sleep. And uh, see what happens while she sleeps. We have a look at the schedule. We do have two schedules. Um, Lindsay is in the night schedule so now she has downtime and uh, soon we'll go to sleep yeah toilet break washing up having a drink playing some games and off to bed. Yeah, looks like she is dreaming. However, the, the dreaming uh, seems to uh, to go slow. Uh, if that's an indication, so she probably has to uh, sleep for a few nights before the dream uh, starts to make sense. So, in that case, we will just uh, see how many nights 
dead boat pitch. It's the sixth night. And we got a dream journal. So stop following. I also take a bit of rust. And then that dream journal, where did it go? Journals. Not in here. Um, maybe here with story traits. Was this one? First encounter. happened there but maybe Lindsay needs to uh, sleep some more dream some more um, we have one dream journal in here oh that's that's where it went dream journal Okay, maybe we need more than, than just one journal. So uh, let's store up a few more and uh, see what happens uh, based on the experience we had uh, here. Uh, I would guess that we need five journals, but that's just... That's just a guess. And maybe also Lindsay will not provide another journal. Um, maybe we need different duplicates to dream. Um, if we can do the uh, analysis here. But as we have seen, that all takes quite a while. Um, so. Uh, I will be back after another cut. Do you see a difference? Brains are moving. Not the big one, but the other four. And up here we have an indicator. And incidentally, this indicator corresponds with the number of dream journals that we have stored here. So we need one more, there it comes, and we got it. Meeting the initial quota of dream content analysis has triggered a surge of electromagnetic activity that appears to be enhanced performance for duplicants everywhere. If my duplicants can keep the building fueled with dream journals, uh, perhaps we will continue to reap the benefits. A small side compartment 
has also popped open, revealing an unfamiliar object. A keepsake, perhaps? Okay, a model plane. So I assume this is something similar to the ceramic moor that we got last time. And with that figured out, I think it's time to call this episode done. And uh, we'll see what mischief we will do next time. Until then, goodbye!